FabFilter Pro Q4 has a big problem and I love it. FabFilter just released Pro Q4. This is not going to be a review, but as expected, people lost their mind about the release. Some people love it, some people hate it. I didn't want to get on the hype train and make a day one video. I want to start a conversation. Hear me out. Pro Q3 has been the EQ. Probably 99% of mixing and mastering engineers were accustomed to how Pro Q3 worked, how it sounds. It was simple, fast, intuitive. Basically, it was muscle memory for a lot of us. With Pro Q4, FabFilter is adding some new features that are causing some frictions and there is some resistance to the change. There are subtle changes, bold changes. I like the fact that FabFilter is moving Pro Q forward. Let me talk about the features that I think are causing a bit of friction in the community. The first is EQ Sketch. This allows you to draw EQ. It's a different type of workflow and I can see why people dislike or are putting up a fight in embracing this uh, sort of workflow. For me, this is a really fast way to get an idea across. You can fine tune everything after, but I understand why, since this is a really different way of working, is causing some frictions. The next up is the instance list, where you can see all the FabFilter Pro Q4 instances from uh, your session. You can also see the collision. I think this is a nice feature, but it's different. It's not the way we are used to work. spectral dynamics this is going more into suit 2 territory and it's so good to have this feature because like most of you guys i have procured probably all my tracks in uh, the session and to have the ability to switch to a spectral dynamics processing is key this is going to be really useful for problem fixing and i appreciate the change and i think this is the feature that most of us are embracing Lastly, now with Pro Q4, we have character modes. Pro Q3 was a clean EQ. You didn't have the ability to change the sonic characteristics of Pro Q3. Now we have the ability to add some sort of saturation, to add some character to the sound with the character modes. It's a great addition, but some people are still seeing Pro Q as the clean EQ. And adding the ability to add character might rub people in the wrong way. And those are just a couple of new features from uh, Pro Q4. Look, change is weird. I think Pro Q3 was released almost a decade ago. In that time frame, we all worked with it. We got so used to it with the workflow, with all the buttons, with everything. Pro Q4 is not that different from uh, Pro Q3. It still has that core functionality it's still Pro Q3 in a different skin, let's call it. But with a couple of new features, FabFilter is trying to move forward. Sketch EQ, for example, it's not something that we are used to and it's uh, normal to have some resistance to the change. I'm trying to implement the features in the workflow and see how much time will it take until I am comfortable with uh, this feature. Also, the instance list is not something that we are used to. We are not used to seeing all the Pro Q instances in a single window. Maybe with time, that will be the standard. I think this is like when Apple uh, made changes to the iPhone. A lot of people were not embracing the change, but now it's the standard. For me, Pro Q4 is moving in the right direction. I am glad that they didn't change that much of the functionality we had in uh, Pro Q3. I'm glad that this new addition to the workflow, they're not really 
pushing them in your face. All the features are a great addition for me and I will have a full review really soon. Are you sticking with Pro Q3 or are you jumping to Pro Q4? Drop a comment, hit like, subscribe for more in-depth videos, join me on Patreon. Thanks for the support and see you guys really soon.